Okay, now comes the, um, we're gonna do a basic painting one to start with, like the baseball and the balloon sample that I showed you guys. Guys, uh, I'm gonna do the bees because I um, am getting ready to change the window out here at the farmhouse and um, for it to spring. So I figured bees would be kind of perfect. So I've already done the tracing, which I showed you earlier. So we'll put that one aside. Um, I'm gonna put it, I think this way. And you lay your um, tracing template on top of your canvas. Now, I'm gonna press down and try not to rip a hole in the paper, but you still need to do it kind of hard because it is cardboard. Um, trace it all. You can always take a peek and see it's coming through. Um, and then I'll probably, speed, I'll probably speed this up whenever I do the rest of them. But, um, oh, I forgot that wing. So I'll go back and do that one. But um, once you're done tracing your image, you can, if you need to, especially for the younger ones, I would take a Sharpie, uh, any sort of Sharpie, and come back and then outline it. And that will help. Um, here's that wing I forgot. So here we go. I'm probably gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna take one of my bigger brushes to start with so I can get a wider, um, you know, more paint on the surface.
Okay, now we're coming back to the bees. Um, it's probably been uh, 15 minutes. You can still tell it's a little more layered it on with the yellow. It's kind of still tacky right there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and finish it up. Um, to it. Like I still need to come back with the black paint um, and do the antennas. And also, like I said, I'll come back in and fill in the yellow part of the bee some more to make it really pop. You can add, when it when it's all dry, you can certainly add um, some Mod Podge, a full layer of Mod Podge. Just take an old brush or a sponge brush like this stab it in the Mod Podge and then just go across the whole painting. But you wait for everything to be completely dry before you do that. Because it, otherwise, if you do it and you pull the Mod Podge across your creation and it's still wet, like in this area right here, it will pull the paint out and you'll have a big old mess, which you could fix because remember, all paintings and artwork is um, fixable. So. Like this one, the baseball, I did not seal with Mod Podge. I could probably, you know what, I'll do that right now to show you guys how to do it because it's completely dry. This one I did, this is the Mod Podge one, hold on. Which one? Oh, the balloons. Let me get those out real quick. And the balloons, I did. You can see the shine on those. As far as display, the kids can hang these um, in their rooms. You can get the little um clips to hang on the wires and display them they're really cute you can also frame them but it is kind of just like a canvas type material and it's all made out of the toilet papers toilet paper rolls um or the um you know you could do it with cereal boxes and paper towel rolls anything in the box boxes um, so let me show you this real quick i'm going to put a little bit of mod podge on this plate, trying not to get it into the blue and not wasting another plate. I'm going to use my sponge brush because I don't see where my other brush went. I think I left it in the, by the sink in the kitchen. So you just dab a little bit and you just want to kind of coat. This is where you can come into these crevices if you want to seal it down more. And once it dries, it'll seal that kind of all up. It doesn't take long for the Mod Podge to dry, but it definitely needs some drying time. I know, um, I think the, um, Mod Podge brand in and of itself now, they have all sorts of types. This one in particular is the gloss one, so it gives it that shiny look. This is a case too, I don't know um, when I recorded it, but you can see the browns in here. That's from that lead when I traced it. Um, that's what I was talking about. If you, got, if you have too much lead pencil and you trace something, there's gonna be a lot of lead left over. I probably did it when it was wet. Um, anyways, getting back to the actual Mod Podge, there is, so for a case like this, it's a baseball and it's for a boy, um, you might not want it so glossy. You might want it more rugged and, you know, or your child, I should say. I mean, you can certainly make one of these for your kids. Um, so there is a matte version of Mod Podge and it says, um, I'm pretty sure it just says matte right here. Uh, and that just kind of gives it a, a finish, but not so shiny. If you're going for that look.
You can see it's already dry here at the top. Hold on one, let me get this down here. It's a little tacky, but you can see that luster kind of coming in. If you want to fill that in too, you can come back and put more under there, but yeah, I like that look. That doesn't really bother me. But you can certainly fill in any mistakes that, that you feel need to be um, corrected. Depends how much coverage I really want. It's up to you. Maybe I'll see when I get home too. Just I might add that thick um, paint with a, like a little um, scalp scalp uh, paint thing and then it will kind of give it another layer of texture. But I really want to get this line covered up. And let's get a good thin brush to do the antennas. Let me just go ahead and trace them right there. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. I'll get it home. If it really bothers me later, I'll come in and, yeah, I think I'm going to come back in and once that dries and add some more yellow paint. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed these lessons. I plan on um, adding some more in the next couple of days with my um, simple drawing and marker or color pencil um, exercises that I'm working on for um, my brand over at jreneegan.com. So um, thanks, email me any questions at Renee at farmhouseinthecity.com. And uh, I hope you guys are all staying safe and um, being good for your parents and stay healthy. Bye.